do anti-resorptive drugs work in osteoporosis? Well, bone is living tissue and bone is made up of two types of cells that are turning over all the time. And there are osteoclasts that are breaking down bone. And then there are osteoblasts, which are building bone and there are different kinds of cells. And people don't think about bone as being living tissue, but they are. And there are also drugs that work in a different way and each one have a different mechanism of action. But the class of drugs that are called osteoresorptive drugs work by stopping and slowing down the breakdown of bone. So you have a net stabilization or even an increase in bone density. The anti-resorptive drugs also work on the one's bone quality and that will make the bone more stable and stronger. Bone strength, you know, is made up of both one's bone density, 60 to 70%, and one's bone quality, which is hard to measure. But all of these drugs we talk about really do work on both the density and their quality. So the main classes of drugs that are considered anti-resorptive drugs, well, for women, hormone therapy, estrogen, and also another drug called raloxifene or Avista work on the estrogen receptor. And they also work on being an anti-resorptive agent because they stop the loss of bone that can occur with menopause and the loss of estrogen. The mainstay of an anti-resorptive agent is a class of drugs called the bisphosphonates. And the bisphosphonates, and there are oral pills such as Fosamax, which is the brand name for a generic drug called Alendronate, Boniva, and the generic name is Ibandronate, or Actinil, which is the brand name for Residronate, have been studied in very large, huge clinical trials showing efficacy and reducing fracture and maintaining one's bone density. And they work by stopping that breakdown of bone and stabilizing the inner network of the bone and keeping bone strength so one does not fracture if they fall. These drugs are taken orally. Some are weekly. There are some that are monthly. And those are the drugs you hear about where you need to take them with a big glass of water first thing in the morning and wait a certain period of time, usually 30 minutes for one of them, the Boniva is 60 minutes before you have any other food because they need to get absorbed in the stomach. If one has difficulty with that, there's also an IV form of the bisphosphonate that is called IV reclast. So once a year infusion, the other name for it is zoledronic acid. Works equally as effective for preventing fractures in the spine and the hip and something called the non-vertebral fractures, the long bones, the wrist, the legs, et cetera. Those are all drugs that are commonly used and called anti-resorptive agents. There's one other drug that is called Prolia, which works in a different way. The other name for it is denosumab, which is a twice a year injection. Again, stops bone loss, stabilizes the bone and prevents fractures and increases bone density as well. These are approved in men and women. But the big difference in these drugs is the following. The bisphosphonate class of drugs, both the oral and the IV, can be given for a certain period of time. And those are drugs that have been shown when one stops the drug, one continues to have some fracture reduction in efficacy. And we often give something called a drug holiday after using those drugs for maybe one to two years while we reevaluate and allow some bone turnover to occur and then decide if one should go on another therapy if they are at risk for fracture. It is important to note that if you are taking estrogen hormone therapy, or a Vista, also called raloxifene for women, or the drug Prolia, a twice a year injection, that when you stop that, 
you have rapid bone loss again, and you can't have what we call a drug holiday. And those drugs usually need to be followed by a bisphosphonate in order to maintain what you've built or what you've achieved by using those drugs.